Hello everybody, my name is John Dalrymple. I'm the Electronics Training Manager here at Allegiant. And in this video, we're going to start to set up our structure of our access control system. Now, if we think about access control, it's usually um, best if we think about who, the users, needs access where, the doors, and when is best described as rules in ISONUS. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to set up um, some the who, where, and when, but not in the individual sense, but as groups. Groups of users often have common access to groups of doors, and of course we can apply the same who and where. Uh, the when can be the same sets of rules. So we're going to set that up today, and if you will, just ride along with me and we'll go ahead and do some configuration and creation. Got to choose a tenant. And you'll notice over here on the toolbar who the users, where the access points, and um, access control, that's where our rules and our schedules are built. So let's, um, let's kind of start with what would be the best way to manage our users? Now we could certainly create a whole bunch of individual users and just start with that, but I'm not sure that that's the best way to do it. I would prefer to create a group. Um, often in access control, we have a number of people who are similar or alike. You know, we have custodial staff, we have maybe the sales staff, maybe the warehouse staff, maybe the guys who work in the service department or the people who work there. So we can group people together. So in our example here, I'm going to create a user group. And the first user group I'm going to create is sales staff. So we'll go over here to the plus key and we'll create a user group. So. So here's our sales staff. Now you notice we don't have any users here. I could pick users if there were any already. I, I'm in here as the integrator, so I'm not going to put any users in that. But I'm going to have a group of people that I'm going to call sales. I'm going to have another group of people. That I'm going to call service. These are the people who work out in the shop and we'll create that as well. Maybe we're going to have a group of people who are admins or administrative um, parts of our business. So I'm going to have another group who we'll call admin. But I think you guys kind of get the idea. Um, by creating these groups that people can be in, we can start to treat them uh, not having to deal with each one individually, but to but to deal with them in um, in bigger bites, if you will. All right. So I've got some admin, I've got sales and service, and then I've got all users. Now all users was created by default. I'm going to just ignore all users for now. Let's deal with our access points. And I just want to change my view to look at the access points. Now there is by default an access point group called all doors, but I'm going to start adding some more. So we'll create an access point group and let's just call it the sales floor. And uh, you know, we would include the sales entry, um, maybe where the public entry would be, because they're going to come onto the sales floor area too. Maybe the sales office would be also included in here. So we're just maybe list out the doors. Now, later we'll actually add those access points or other doors with, that have that name. But for now, we're just going to give it uh, that description. All right. So in addition to the sales floor, we probably ought to have a group for the service bay. So we'll create an access point group called service bays. 
And these will be the doors that uh, all the sales guys go to uh, to work out in the service bays. Now, uh, we've got a fair number of employees, and uh, some doors might be common to everybody. So let's just create a group um, for common doors as well. So we'll create an access point group, and we'll just call it common doors. And these would be like break rooms, maybe uh, toilets, if, if those have keyed locks on them, stuff like that. These would be doors that all the uh, people would go to. All right. So that's just kind of an example of some common doors and uh, groups of, of doors. And we have groups of users now, too. Well, let's look at the access control part of this. And it starts with a calendar view. Uh, I like I kind of prefer the list view right now. And of course, there's a there, there's a common rule that's called 24-7 access. And that's obviously for people who have access all of the time. Well, let's create another rule though. And we're going to create a weekly create a weekly rule. And this weekly rule is going to be sales hours. And uh, in this um, times when the sales floor is open, okay? And the rule type, it's going to be to grant access, let's say. So during that time, now we can decide who gets access, and so we'll go to the next. And let's just say that we apply that to all the salespeople. That's our who. Okay, now you notice that we could also pick individual users here, but I want to apply to the groups first. And where, well, how about we give them access to all of the sales floor doors, okay? And maybe the common doors too, because we want to treat with that together. And here again, we can list individual access points as well. And then let's say that our times are Monday through Friday. Um, and we could start with eight to five, or we could say that we wanted custom times. And let's say our, our, our start time is gonna be nine, uh, zero, 0900. And our end time is going to be, oh, let's say we don't go home till 8 o'clock. So that would be 20 hundred. Okay. And we can create that. So now you see that we have created a sales hours time, and it's a weekly rule, right? And uh, it applies to... If we wanted to look at who it applies to, we could go over here and look at it. Who it applies to is all everybody that we're going to put on the sales team. And where is going to be the sales floor and the common doors um, we decided to use here. And the when is they'll have access on Monday through Friday from 0900 to um, 0, 20, to 2000, which is 10 p.m. at night. So we'll go ahead and save that. 20 is uh, not 10 p.m., it's 8 p.m. at night, and we'll save that. All right, so that's an overview of creating groups. Now, in a further video, we'll start to add individual users and all of that stuff, but you'll find that dealing with people in groups is a much easier way to deal with um, providing access control and, uh, and doing it efficiently in your system.